there guys it's crystal here with Boba artsy i'm back today with um i'm gonna do an update for you i know from my last video that i said i was gonna try to come back um before stitch mania started to show you what i was planning on starting um that didn't happen so i'm here today because i found another little you know pocket of time to do something and so I'm gonna do a quick update, run through my mania starts thus far, and catch you all up. So, for Stitch Mania, I had planned on doing the entire month. I know. So, this will be about halfway, halfway through for the mania starts that I show you. I have a finish. Squee! And a couple of, well, a couple of whips that I've been putting a little extra time in, you know, lately too. So, <clears throat> so sorry, I shook you. I shook you there. So, um, I guess that's about it. So let's get going. So let's start with my finish because finishes, am I right? So, um, this was one of my cross stitch crazy starts from the beginning of the year. I remember I did a whole month of new starts then too, and I'm just crazy like that, but whatever. But I focused on her for Stitch Manias. It's not easy being green. And also, um, April showers bring me bring May flowers. So I just, I like to use those little monthly stitch alongs to focus on, you know, a few pieces to get a little extra time in. And I, I found that to be very helpful. So in doing so, I got her finished. And you guys, can you see her? She's so beautiful. So there is Spring Garden Fairy. She's Joan Elliott. Oh, I forgot to grab the magazine that she's from, but she's from a Cross Stitch and Needlework magazine. Ah, crap. I don't think I got that written down anywhere. What is she? I will try to remember to put that at the bottom. <coughs> Let me see. Poopy poopy, sorry guys. Um, I've mentioned her before though. But I got her finished and she is just absolutely stunning. I am so in love with it. I stitched it on a fabric uh, from Fabrics by LJ. Very pleased. I thought it was a perfect, perfect match for her. Um, just, yeah, perfect little green spot. So she's loaded up with beads. Look at her beautiful face. Isn't she beautiful? Pretty hair. There's a little just curly cue, the details of the hair. Beautiful wings, get more beads and some critic. There's some purple. Even just there's beads through her dress. Flowers, flower detail. And then the skirt itself is just, look at the little leaves with the gold, the gold critic there. Isn't that pretty? You know, just pretty. Just, just, just pretty. Beads here, all in these flowers are just, can you see all those? Yeah, it's very beaded. It's so pretty. So, see the finish, my first kind of big finish of the year. Oh, that seems kind of sad. I feel like I should have more, but that's all right. <clears throat> Things get done when they get done, right? <laughs> now, this fabric is a 16 count Ada. I didn't even have any problems with it as far as, um, you know, there were some quarter stitches in the back stitching, but it was fine. I didn't have a problem. I even love the little, she's got little bracelets. So she's a finish, Spring Garden Fairy, Joan Elliott. She's from Across the Janita Work Magazine, but I remember. <laughs> I don't still remember the year, sorry, or the issue, but anywho. So that's that. Let me flop her over here to the side. Um, another one I pulled out and made some extra progress on recently is uh, my Cleo. She's one of Nora Corbett's Bewitching Pixies. I don't see a lot of people stitching her, but I like her a lot. So 
So really just this past, you know, week, I put up some extra time in on her for cross-stitch finish line. Uh, there's a stitch along called Magical May. So I'm, and that's what I'm focusing on this month, my extra time. So I got really good progress on her. Filled in most of her dress. Actually, I think her dress is done now. So that's great. So it'll be just because I started working on the skin. Yeah, so just her wings, her boots, her face, her hat, and of course beads and stuff. So now I messed up this somewhere. Uh, I'm making it work because I just messed it up. I had to put some beads in there just to help me out. <laughs> I know I messed it up so bad. You ever have a piece like that where you just keep like freaking messing up on? I'm like, what in the world? I've had to f had a bunch of black hair. I had to frog that crap out. Um, you had to frog this dress. I'm like, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm just gonna make it work. So I put some beads in to get my lines matched up from side to side, and then I just I filled in purples around it. <laughs> Anybody got time for that? But she's come along really. Really, um, really good on that one. I like, I'm very happy with the progress. That was just, like I said, just about a week's worth of extra time in the evenings on her. So, very, very excited. Okay. So I have a new whip bag. I went to a geeky craft show. Look at my awesome adventure time bag. Is it cool? Holds a lot of my key snaps. It's got little pockets in the front where I put bits and bobs in. The liner fabric. Oh, more. I love adventure time. Okay. I have not put any more progress in on the garden party. I've kind of taken a little, taken a little pause. I still love it though. I'll get back to it. After me, probably. <laughs> um, I did catch up on uh, my passport, pumpkin passport from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I gotten really behind in May, so I had to finish, had to catch up here. I've started June's block, the, the grease block, or no. Okay, let's back that up. I got really behind on April. Now I'm doing May's block. Okay. Scratch that. Reverse it. Okay. So, <laughs> got him. A little, this guy. Cute. Cute. So, that's caught up. Hopefully I'll, I'm doing pretty good. Keeping up with this one. I don't usually do very well. But keeping up with these year long ones. Especially the Frosted Pumpkins. I just, I don't know why. I'm usually good for a few months and then I'm like, wah, wah, you know. <laughs> Let's finish that up like next year or something. It'll be fine. So, whatever. Anyway. Um, 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 that might be it. So before I get into my mania starts, I'll show you what I, I've started to work on for this week. For that magical May stitch along that I was telling you about in the cross stitch finish line group. And I've chosen a different whip for each week just to spend a little time on in the evenings. And um, my mania starts, I 30, 40 minutes on them and I'm, and I'm on. I'm off to something else. And that's that's what I've been doing. So the rest of the time I'm stitching for the day or, you know, whatever, um, is stitching on that focus piece for the week. Um, and that works pretty good for me. So I pulled out an oldie but a goodie here. Once upon a time. See, this is what I'm talking about. I bought this when it came out two years ago, but I didn't stitch it at all <laughs> for the whole year. So, anyway. So I'm hoping to, hoping to get some good progress on this this week and get back into it, get into the swing of this one and get her done. I did fill in last night the pink bits through here. So now I can finish, I can start on the first block. So that'll be exciting. Move on from the border for a little bit. You know, get a little change of scenery on it and uh, hopefully feel like stitching on it. I was kind of lost my, 
you know, most of my baboon for it, I, um, you know, wasn't feeling it, so that's why I had to stitch on it. I started this for Cross Stitch Crazy last year. Yeah. Not much going on. But it's a gorgeous fabric. It's a, uh, it's called Confetti. It's my picture this class. It's a yellow with little, little confetti on those colors of blue, pink, green. It's very pretty. I like that a lot. So, I'm gonna lay a needle minder. I think from Gina. A little while back, I got them. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Alrighty. I should put this back in my bag so I don't get it dirty. I need to get me another uh, grime guard for this size. Oh, the snap. Snap. Okay. So I think that's it for other other whip things. So I can start you with my stitch mania. Eek. Um, I was I had only planned on doing the fifteen. Um, towards the beginning of the year, I was already thinking about what I was gonna do for stitch mania. Cause I don't know. To me, like I said, I love having a bunch of new starts. It's really fun, and it's either you know, it's either a pattern on my shelf or it's a start on my shelf. It's the same thing to me. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It just gives me more things to choose from you know, to work on, I, you know. If I ever get bored with having close to now 60 something whips, something's wrong, you know what I'm saying? So, whatever. So I'm gonna roll through these quickly. Um, I will try to give you details on the best that I can. But a lot of my details are on the X-Stitch app, this is on my phone, which is what I'm recording on. So, I'll try to, I'll try to do that the best I can. It's gonna be rustling. I got this stuff in paper bags. You know, y'all know. Y'all know. Shoot, we rustle stuff. All right. Okay. So, day one. Y'all know I love some Barbara Anna. She's one of my favorites. I've had this one for a little while. My favorite apron. Um, I love it. So I started it. <laughs> Doing it on a 32 count. Dirty linen, dirty linen, and blah, blah, blah. started a, got a couple of these little cherubs in her skirt, or apron, I guess it is. A little creeptastic, right? A little creepy. They're a little creepy. Let's see. A little spooky. <laughs> But um, it's got that, you know, this little phrase on here is on a lot of things, but you know, I can't, I cannot count my day complete till needle, thread, and fabric meet, but it's kind of a different little spin on that one, I think, so. so I'm so excited about that one. And this was charted in silks, and I'm not, I'm not doing that. Ain't nobody got money for that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, all right. It actually is charted though for some uh, DNC variegated. You don't, I don't see it very often, you know, charted specifically for DNC stuff. So that's kind of cute. All right, let's move it along. I've seen a lot of people start this one. I would think it's funny. Haha, -ha, but. Interesting that so many of us are starting this one, but Pretty Little Washington, D.C. by Satsuma Street. Seems to be a popular Stitch Mania choice this year. I've had this one purchased for a little while, and I was going to let me start it. And I'm actually making this one as a gift for my cousin, who lives in the D.C. area. And she just bought a, a townhouse of her own in the area, so I thought it would be a good gift. Maybe one day it. By the time I get it finished, maybe it'll be a wedding gift. So, I forget. This is so see-through on this side of the house. But, we'll start. Not much. Light's funky here. All right, I'm sorry. It's really raining today. I'm stitching it on a Navy Ada. 
I think it would be awesome on this navy. I think the colors, these because the colors are kind of soft. I think it would pop on that navy. I'm excited about it. So, and it's a. Uh, I don't know, 16 or 14, I don't know. Most of this, all of this fabric and stuff, I didn't buy anything from Mania. This is all stuff from Stash. If I didn't have something to stitch on, you know, the fabric to stitch on it how I wanted, how I wanted it to be stitched, you know what I'm trying to say, it didn't get started. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not gonna go spend a lot of money. I got so much crap, you guys, seriously. So, Yeah. If you hear that, sorry. My son's over there on his tablet. Number three, day three. This is stuck. I got a plastic bit. This is a not forgotten farm. It's called Widow's Weeds. I love this pattern. I think I've showed it before, but I'll read it again. It says, to the memory of my beloved who passed away too soon on the 13th day of June, and I shall wear my widow weeds until we meet again. And it describes what widow weeds are. It's like a gauzy black uh, fabric. Widow weeds, widow's weeds. It's a term used to describe the black crepe cloak clothing that a woman wore while in mourning for the loss of her husband, and some wore their widow's weeds for the rest of their lives. I think that's so cool, right? So, I love this. Now, this one I am stitching on 28 count Lugana from Picture This Plus called Murky. I think a lot of us got some of this murky when it was on clearance one day last year sometime. Just to start, oops, oops, woo. I think it's gonna be perfect on this fabric. Very excited. So, it's gonna be awesome, you guys. I love it, love it, love it. You will notice, I've got quite a lot of Halloween and fall things picked out not really realizing it until I'm now looking at it. I'm like, oh, got quite a lot of Halloween folly type stuff started, starting. <laughs> Whatever. That's right up my alley, so. Russell, Russell, Crow. I did it again. I'll make it work. All right. Uh, day four was May the 4th. So, Stitch Mania had a I, um, may the fourth be with you. So day long, stitch along. I started something from my stash. I don't have a picture of it because it's just a download from Pixel Power. It's called Death Star. And it's basically got a little Death Star in the middle and it says Death Star, sweet Death Star. It's cute. It's cute. So let me hold this up here. So that's where I got. I got most of the Death Star. That's my Peter... Griffin interpretation of saying the Death Star. Anybody? Anybody? One of the few like Family Guy episodes I like are the Star Wars spoofs. I got a lot done on that day. I think it was a weekend. I think it was a weekend day. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that needle miner. Got that from Mindy My Minders. Hello Kitty Bubba Bed. What? This is 28 Count Castle Gothic from Picture This Plus. I thought it looked spacey. I think it looks spacey and dark. It's got a bunch of little single X's out here. The, the stars. I may try to either maybe make it some metallic, maybe some beads. I'm gonna get some like silvery, goldy beads or like purpley. Bluey beads, mix it up. That might be fun. All right, and that was day four. Day five was smell my feet while I die. 
I've been with, it's not on the stitch shift for a, a long time now. So I'm starting to stop, you guys. You know what I mean? That's something I don't see the point. This is me personally. This is my personal opinion. Opinions are my own. That if you really want to stitch it, freaking start it, man, so you can work on it. Okay. It's from this issue, Just Cross Stitch. What's the date on this one? October 2008. Holy. It says their premier Halloween issue. I'm not, I don't know. Oh, it's got a chart. I'm going to cover it up here. Back. That's what it looks like. You've seen it before. It's cute. So cute. This one, I'm stitching on a little piece of something by Picture This Plus. I've got a border done. So I get the fun stuff. Next time it comes around, I get the fun middle stuff to do. So that's exciting. I want to say this is like ale or something. I forget. I lost the little tag, so. So that's exciting. I'm trying to mix in some smalls with some mediums with some larges, you know. Trying to mix it up so not everything is super huge. All right. Number six. From this book, We All Know and Love. It is, oops, well oh, there, she's on the front there. Miss Mother Moon, we love her. She's gorgeous, you guys, she's so pretty. I cannot wait to get her finished. <laughs> Super excited about it. Got some thread hanging. Now this one I'm stitching on fabrics by LJ, Fabric of the Month. Um, from, from which month? March. March mystery. Okay. It's called Willow Tree. It's an 18 count Ada. Yeah, I'm stitching on Ada. Uh, this way. It's a gorgeous fabric. I mean, look at the purples and it's got some greens going through it. I think it's perfect. But this is where I started this little white section of her face. Look at her little nose already. Parts of her mouth. Nice. Isn't this going to be gorgeous, you guys? So what peeks out from her, if you don't know, like all of this is stitched, even her face and everything, but this behind here is not, and of course, any kind of border you leave on the outside. So that's why I, I kind of wanted to do a, a, a colored fabric. And I think that was a perfect choice. I still need a couple of, actually, I, I, still need, I did need to buy a couple things for Mania, and that was things like for her, I went ahead and bought the, the Krennics that I needed, you know, just things like that, which those aren't terribly expensive, you know. She's got three things of this white, shiny one. Beads, had to buy one pack of beads, little purple beads. I had the white beads already, I left over from her garden fairy. She must use a lot of the same beads. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. Okay, what's next? All right, I'm gonna take a little swaller here. Anybody, anybody? Got a couple of them. Got a couple of them. All right. Next one, number seven, is from this older book here. Any comic fans? Do you see? My fellow please. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a great booklet, actually, if anyone's interested. Um, it is from 97. So, like, your Batman is a little older. It's kind of the older versions, you know what I mean? It's not like the cool today stuff, but um, even like the villains are like, I love, but I love that. Look at these Mr. Freeze and stuff. So, and it's got lots of, it's got Wonder Woman, it's got a, a flash in here. I'll flip through it one day, I'll show you guys. Um, but I am doing, actually, this Batman here. That is a cool design, like, it's got him and his bats, which I, I think is super cool. I'm doing this for my cousin, this is another gift. Um, she's a freak about Batman, as we all are, my brother. Anybody else watch Gotham? <gasps> Fish Mooney's back. You guys excited? I'm excited. Ooh, spoiler. 
Sorry, guys. All right. But I'm doing this for her because she's awesome. And she comes over to my house and cuts my son's hair. And she actually does, was the one that cut my hair. But she comes to my house. Okay? So, <laughs> as a little something extra. You know, I, I throw her cash, but, you know, still. A little something extra. I'm going to... So you know what? Let me stitch her a little something, Batman. There's got to be something out there, Batman. And then I remembered I actually have this old booklet, so. Anyway, long story longer, I'm doing this. Just start on his little undies. His little undies right there. I'm using a large piece. I've got to cut it down, but this is another fabric by LJ. I'm a fan. What can I say? Um, this is just a 14 count Ada. He called this one Bumblebee. It's an awesome fabric. It's yellow and black, just like a Bumblebee. And it's gorgeous, and I think it's perfect for Batman. And I only need about half of it, which is even better, because then I can use the other half for something for me. So, that's exciting. It's a, a not a hard pattern. Um, so it's really not going to take me long at all, so... I'm excited about that. So, number seven. I feel like I need to get rolling. Let's get going. All right. Number eight. I pulled out a vintage one for this one from Satin Rainbows by the Vanessa Anna collection. I think this was like 1980, 1981. I'm doing this one right here. Can you see that good? Because it is, it's so, it's kind of a strange one. It's called Patrick Rainbow. I don't know, can you get that? Anyway, it's cute. I think it's really cute. So, again, stash. I, where does it go? I could have had this DMC Ada, this little marbly blue kind of Ada. I think it'll be really pretty on there, though, because it looks kind of cloudish, cloud like. Got a little hat, some little. Bits of flowers. Nice. So that's exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. If you are in the group Cross Stitch Finish Line, Molly was nice enough to let me start a stitch along next month for the month of June, a, a vintage stitch along. So if you've got some vintage pieces that you're working on or something you want to start, um, come join us next month. I'm, I think it's going to be really fun. So, no, ah, a little tiny little dope. Crap, okay. Number nine. Week style what? Stuff three. Alphabet by Hands to Work. Oh, that's kind of weird design. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I like it though. But I like it. I like the weird. Stitching it on a green. It's called Scuppernong. 35 count linen from Weeks Dye Works. I think it's going to be awesome on the screen. I got the little bat head stitch there. See what? Yeah. And I had, I had had this kitted up. I think I had about one thread, but with the Weeks and Crescent colors and stuff. This is one I think will be really nice to have the, the hand dyed thread. So. Exciting alphabet. Righty, another small one and another Halloween one. <laughs> it's called Trick or Treat. Let me find you a picture. And it's from last year's October issue of Just Cross Stitch, just the regular, the regular monthly one, not the special Halloween one. Yeah, no. It's this little small here. I just, I don't know, I like it. I like it a lot. So, I got this little scrap here. Something I tea dyed myself. It's an even weave. I don't even know. Something. There's my start. I'm doing it over one, because it just looked better that way. So it's gonna be teensy tiny. I think it's gonna look awesome. I love how that fabric turned out. So that's gonna be cool. Trick or treat, and it's uh, yeah, Nikki's Creations. Yeah, Nikki's Creations. I like her stuff too. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. 
Number 11. We're getting to it, guys. We're getting to it. All right. This is Ink Circles. Pull it out for you. Dala Squid and more. And friends, I'm sorry. This one's another cookie. You know, Ink Circles, I got some cookie stuff. And I like it. So it's a Dala Squid, a Dala Bunny, a snail, and a bird. Oh, it's a little fish. Because why not? Oh, that's like <laughs> I like that one a lot. I decided to do it on this um, dark purple, like Star Works linen. Where does it go this way? And I think it's going to be really great on here. Um, the red and the purple, you know, complementary colors. So that's I think it's really going to pop on there. So. That's kind of exciting, but I got the little snail, snail pen started. Sorry, it's getting washed out. Look at the little face. Cute. So I got Mr. Squid started. And I think this one's a 30 count, which I don't like. I do not, you know, I've talked about this before. Sherry Brick has talked about this before. Because we both tried that gunmetal 30 count, and I got a couple little scrap, little, little pieces of 30 count. It's so flippy floppy. Gosh, it's it's difficult to work on. You gotta really get a tight and a Q snap to you know to really enjoy it. I didn't have as much trouble with the 35 count though from this the alphabet one. So maybe I just you know maybe it's the 30 count itself. I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't I can't explain it, okay? My piles are falling. All right, number 12. I'll put another vintage one. Christmas Kids, what's it called? Charted Christmas Kids, an old leisure arts that belonged to Miss Patsy at one time. This is from 1980. It's got some good stuff in here. I am doing this little sugar plum boy. This is gonna be for my son. I think it's so cute. Look at this little sugar plum vision. There's a girl one too. I think it's cute. And just pulling from stash, I'm doing it on this bright red Ada. Mm, looks like it might be a 16 count. That's his hair. I think it looks really good on there because. It has some red in it, but it's also got, but not a lot. You know, just little bits in it, little cool quilt. And it's all back stitched anyway, so I think I'll be very Christmassy on that red, so. And you know, you get little scraps like this, either like maybe you picked up a big bag of stuff from like a thrift store or something, you know. And sometimes you're just like, yeah, I can't do anything on that, but that's, that's why I try to use that for that stuff like that, you know, and that stuff's just not sitting around, not getting used, you know? You know what I mean? All right, day 13, or number 13. I don't know if it's day 13. Another oldie. I've showed this before. Um, Cricket's Companion, the Cricket Collection. Cross-eyed Cricket, I don't even know. There's so many Cricket names, I don't know. Um, winter, and I have all the seasons, and so I decided to start one of them. I started my favorite one, Winter. I love this pattern. Very folksy. I love it. I love it so much, you guys. I'm doing this on a white, the Monica, I think the Charles Craft Monica, you know, that you get from Michaels or whatnot. I wanted a nice crisp white for the, because now this is, you know, the white is the fabric, so. And I just got some of the little border at the top going. So, I'm excited to get back to this one too. Um, I can't wait to get to stitching all the little birds and the, the little girl and the little heart, the little roll hearts you in. It's just too cute. So, even this other design on here is pretty nice. So, I don't really understand it. 
I keep thinking this looks like like a whale like spout. I'm like, why is a whale spout on top of this angel's head? I'm kind of confused. I don't know. I don't know about that one. It's a little weird. This one, it didn't have a year on it, so... I don't know what year that one is, but it's an oldie. It's an oldie goldie. So this one will be getting some love next month, and for sure. And uh, I've got a vintage stitch along. Probably my Sugar Plum Boy. I'll pull it out a little bit. For sure. Probably the Batman, actually, because that's from the 90s. And I, I kind of said maybe 90s and older kind of counts for vintage these days. So... <clears throat> We'll see. All right. Number 14 is from this Cross to True magazine. Number 288 from 2015. February of 2015. Oh, I guess that's it. It's called Love What You Do. A little small one. I think Mandy, uh, uh, Mandy Callahan. O'Callahan? Is she an O'Callahan or just a Callahan? I think she stitched that one. I pulled out a little scrap of Ada. It's pink. It's pink oatmeal Ada. I had this slew of fabrics like that that I got at a thrift store and it kind of was musty. So I threw it all in the uh, washing machine. Not really thinking. Yeah, there, there was a piece of red in there that ran over everything. <laughs> so I got a lot of pink fabric. Clean this pink oatmeal Ada but that's where I started and I'm changing the colors around with this I'm using some of my most sale stuff and some weak style works um, just changing up the colors a little bit using some of my uh, some of my other flosses too you know I get some use out of that so that's a small one that one will definitely even just that little bit stitched up really fast so that one could definitely be finished soon so that's just cool that's to get finishes every now and then, right? Alrighty, number 15. We're almost getting to the end. We're getting to the end. I'm catching up to date to now, remember, because I got the whole year, I'm the whole year, the whole month of starts. Uh, let me find a picture of this one. Let's see. see. Here's the whole piece. Lizzie Kate's Very Scary Mystery Sampler. This is from a couple years ago or so. I don't know. It's glare. I mean, I'll get over it, right? It's cool. It came out three parts. But I I snagged these at Show Rainbow Stitchery. Remember when the, they were having all their big sales? Snagged it up in a lot of floss, actually. Last year, so. Because it's like weak style work stuff. And... I'm doing it on this twilight blue. It's called twilight blue, 32 count linen. I started at the top, got a little border done. A little border. This fabric I think is gonna be nice. It's a real dusty dark blue. And I think the colors are gonna be really great on there. So I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna look good. Got a day that did reminding my manders. Dawn of the Dead. I almost said Day of the Dead. That's cool. So, nice week's dye work. Purpley color. Purpley. That's a new word. Alright. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Alright. I've been really excited seeing everyone else's Mania starts, by the way, too. Um, it's always fun. To see what people are choosing or how they're making their mania work for them you know that kind of thing so that's exciting so sunday sunday yeah i decided i wanted to add this other uh, piece into my starts it was one i wanted to add into originally but just didn't and so i went hunting through my magazine looking for it because it's a magazine pattern I was looking, 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 and I flipped through some other magazines, led, led to one thing to another, you know how that goes. And I came across this magazine, Cross Stitch and Needlework at Oldie Goldie, not, not too oldie, July 2006. 
and I came across this pattern. Some of you will recognize, Summer Quilt. Ursula Michaels. There's a leaflet out there with all these seasonal quilts on it. So I said, oh, I don't remember this being in this magazine, so let's start it. So I added this to my list, got it started on a scrap piece of something, creamy looking linen. Bonus start. Anybody got any bonus starts? Bonus starts? You probably do. Also, Sunday. This will, this will be where am I? 16. I finally started, my lady. My other lady. Gypsy Queen. I love it. I showed this kit it up, you know, I think maybe last video. On this really awesome fabric by LJ Fabric. I think it goes that way. I think it's gonna be great for her. So got a little start here. Nice deep dark purples. It's gonna be great, you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Last one, you guys, and then we're caught up. So yesterday. Yesterday, I started another little small one from this World of Cross Fishing magazine, a little Joan Elliott piece. And I'm starting this one right here. I'll let it rain. A little pixie dude with mushrooms. I love mushrooms. This guy on some little scrap of yellow Ada. I got him stitched last night. I'm watching Gotham. He's tiny. This is like 18 count. He's gonna be super tiny. Probably a little gift for slaying, you know, one of my friend's kids or something. Because he's cute. All right, that catches you up, okay? So I hope to come back maybe by, in, well, at the end of the month, and I'll show you the rest of my starts. I've got, I got a few more. Oopsies. So I had 32 starts planned. I had a little extra one that I added on at the end. And then I added that summer quilt, so that's 33 starts. And I'm still gonna go look for that other pattern that I was originally looking for in the magazine. I really want to start that too. Maybe 33 starts. Add to my other 30 something starts. 60 something widths, I think. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. I love it. I love having all this stuff around. So I've got plenty of things to work on now. Okay. I've talked for 45 minutes almost. Let's get this thing done. All right. Uh, I want to thank everyone as always for watching. I don't think I thank you enough really for. Um, support and just watch and comment and everything. It's it's super fun for me and um, I just have my nice friends too, which is so nice. So uh, till next time. Hopefully in the month. If you if you're still mania ing, awesome. I'm mania ing with you, and um, that's it. Peace out. Bye.